Hi, it's me. I'm back. Hi, I'm Stephanie Fluff, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm excited to be showing you today uh, the new, in the new catalog, the Buffalo Plaid. Ha! It's called Buffalo Check. I already lost it. <laughs> the Buffalo Check. Back on stamp. I totally love it. But I'm going to chat with you first for a little bit before uh, I start showing you anything. So let me know when you're on here. I love when you get on here and I say hi, can say hi to you. And uh, yeah, I just love seeing that. So let me know when you're here. Tell me hi. And make sure um, that you share this video with your friends. Um, I would love you to do that uh, so they can check out my projects and check out uh, everything we have going on. So anyway, I hope... Oh, I have to tell you before I get going, uh, last week I posted, but I wanted to tell you also, that um, Nadine Stolt uh, won the, uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, she won the card that I made last week. So if you want to win the card this week, uh, you need to comment below so that I know um, that you saw me and um, then you'll be entered in a drawing. I will do the drawing tomorrow morning. Um, my thing is really wobbly today, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of shaking. Sorry. The... Anyway, um, it's not me. I'm not shaking. It's my thing. Um, and so anyway, so comment and let me know that you saw this and what you thought and if you have any questions. And um, you'll be entered into a drawing for um, the card that I make today. So uh, anyway, so I mentioned already I'm going to be using the Buffalo Check. Um, background stamp and I also am going to be using the Daisy Punch. I haven't used it in a while and it will be kind of fun. I want to show you the projects and whatever. So, okay, another thing before I go on. I have friends with birthdays today. Um, I have Nancy Olson. I wrote them down because I knew I would forget. My, my mind would just go flying. Nancy Olson, happy birthday, and Ruth Jones, and Sylvia Hanlon all have birthdays today. And I have other friends who had birthdays probably within the last week. Um, Elaine Brunink and Debbie Gunder. Yeah, your cards still aren't in the mail yet. <laughs> um, if this helps at all, uh, just letting you know that you, pr I probably celebrate your birthday even longer than anyone else's because um, I'm thinking like the week before, okay, the birthday's coming up, I need to get a card in the mail. And a week later, oh, the birthday's this week, I need to get a card in the mail. And then a week later, oh, their birthday was last week, I need to get a card in the mail. So in my mind, I'm celebrating your birthday a lot longer than maybe even you are. <laughs> so anyway, happy birthday. Oh man, my table's rocking today. I'm sorry. I need to stop leaning on my table when I laugh because I'm a jiggly laugher. <laughs> that one was better. Okay, so uh, I'm showing you a buffalo plaid. Oh, I keep calling it buffalo plaid. This is buffalo plaid, but the actual stamp is called buffalo check. So I'm going to show that today. And I'm going to show you really quickly what the card looks like that I'm going to make for you. So here is the card. This is, it's not really what you're expecting, is it? Can you see the flower? Let me get the right spot. Ha, ah, there's plaid in the flower. I want to do something different. I'll show you my other samples that I have with kind of a more traditional background, but I want to do something different. So here's what I'm doing. So um, this color, by the way, this background color, I'm not sure how well you can um, see the color on video, but this color is granite gray or gray granite. I think is how you say it. And it's the very first time that I ever used it. And the reason that I'm using it is because it's one of the coordinating colors in, um, oh, let me show you this. Okay. So this is a background paper and it's from festive farmhouse designer paper. So I wanted to look in there and see something. And so anyway, that was the color that was used in it. So I'm going to show you the designer paper really quick. <clears throat> hmm. How far away can I get so you see these well? All right. So here is 
all the papers. There's this is just one side of them of all these papers. And then this is kind of a more fun side and not not so much the um not so much plaid. Like there's words on here. This one says Merry Christmas and North Pole and Under the Mistletoe. Um, anyway, this is kind of fun. But I wanted to use like the wood looking background in it and just wanted to use kind of different colors. So I started with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm, my throat is dry this morning or something. Okay. So <clears throat> told you I'm using Buffalo, Pla Buffalo Check. And I'm planning to use it at my Christmas stamp camp too. So um, that you can sign up for that for a couple more weeks yet. Um, and we're definitely using this um, on one of my cards on there. You can find all of my um, events on my website, dazzlebystamping.com. Um, and just click events and you can go find whatever it is that you got there. And by the way, Lisa Marie, I saw you come up, and I've been staring at that this whole time, and hello! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, um, so I'm going to uh, get started with stamping. Remember when I'm stamping, um, I can't see who's coming on, and I don't see your comments, and whatever, but please comment, and when, um, tomorrow, when I... Um, I'm going to go through them all. Well, I'll answer comments today too. Um, but hi, Marsha. Um, I will answer comments today too, but, um, if you want to be entered in the drawing for this card, then you need to, uh, comment so that I can enter you in the drawing. So I will do that tomorrow. Okay. So I'm not going to be, uh, being able to answer your comments, but if you have questions or anything like that, um, please feel free to ask me, please do that while I'm stamping. So I'm going to put you down, um, so that I can do some stamping. Um, I already showed you the, the background stamp and the punch, Reese and the Daisy punch too. So I'm going to get started with that. So I'm going to put you down and, um, don't worry, I'll keep talking to you, but I just can't see when you're commenting, so let me know that. Okay, so I'm going to start, of course, with <clears throat> cutting my project. Oh, man. <clears throat> Problem today, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so I'm cutting, <clears throat> cutting my cardstock. I like doing it, um, scoring it at uh, five and a half first. I don't know why. I just like doing it that way. And then cutting it at four and a quarter. And you know that I have my Stampin' Trimmer marked. Um, the Stampin' Trimmer is, if you don't have one, I love this one. I do all my cutting with it. Um, the Stampin' Trimmer is found on page 208 of the full catalog. And I forgot to tell you about Buffalo Check. So Buffalo Check is found on uh, page 38 of the holiday catalog. So check that out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with, I cut my cardstock, but I don't need that yet. So I'm going to start with this background stamp. I'm telling you, this stamp is going to be well loved by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> it's going to look like my lovely as a tree stamp. Dot, I know you love that one. Um, so anyway, Buffalo Check is going to look just like it. Um, I did clean it, but I've been working with it again since then. So... <clears throat> I'm starting with uh, Black Stays On, and I'm tapping on here. I'm not just pouncing with this. Um, you know, I'm not doing my little soft gentle because, one, it's um, rubber stamp as opposed to photopolymer, and two, um, it is um, a fabric pad. The fabric pads always need a little extra oomph, um, but then you got to remember when you go back to the firm foam pad not to do that so I forgot to mention but <clears throat> you can see I'm just leaving my block on the um, on the table uh, I always when I have a stamp that's bigger than my ink pad I always leave it right on my workspace and um, I tap away on my block and I just I don't even pick it up I just I'm just gonna ink it away Okay, so I'm thinking that that looks pretty wet, shiny, 
um, and we're going to we're going to we're going to use Mary Merlot. This is the first time I've used this color too. So in case you're just coming on, I'm using the Buffalo Check background stamp, and I'm going to use Mary Merlot um, for that. And another color that I have here, this is gray granite. Um, this is one of the new colors in the revamp, and this is the first time that I've used this. And, oh, don't forget to cover your black stays on pad when you're done with it because it's solvent-based and it does dry really quickly. So, okay, so here's going to be the magic. So I'm going to put down my, my um, stamp. And I forgot to grab scrap paper, so I'm just going to use this. So I lay, I'm lay, i laying my cardstock on there, and I'm rubbing away. Some people say, <laughs> can you hear me over my <laughs> rubbing on my stamp? Some people say to use a brayer or use a um, ruler or something, and I never really got great pressure with that. Plus, if you didn't know already, I'm a lazy stamper, so I don't want to get up and go get other things. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that I have scrap paper around when I remember it. Um, so that I don't get inky fingers. So I can take that up. All right, I'm gonna turn this, and here's the magic. Ooh, I love it. Okay, Mary Merlot, basic or black stays on. I love this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, so I'm done with this background stamp, I'll put this away. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch this out. So I'm using my daisy punch, and I'm going to punch one out and two out. You always need two to make it look like a full flower. I, I think it looks kind of kind of funny with just one, one little layer. So I always have two layers. So anybody that's coming on right now, make sure that you let me know that you're there. I can't see when you're coming on when I have it down when I'm stamping. Um, but let me know you're there and comment because remember, I'm doing a drawing. Oh, I'm shaking my table again. I'm sorry for my wiggliness today. Um, I'm doing a drawing f on comments and my voice keeps being weird this morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, so I have my flowers. I have two of them and I'm just going to use my bone folder and just quickly round the petals a little bit. Um, I really like this daisy punch and I haven't used it in a long time. So I wanted to use this kind of different, but I'll show you other samples that I have with the, <clears throat> with the buffalo check. So because of how I'm going to be um, putting this together, somehow they always seem like they need extra help. So I'm using mini glue dots rather than just snail. So I'm going to put two on the back of here, of the back of the center of one of these. <laughs> they went right on top of each other. And can you see me? Now I'm putting them, stacking them together. So we have a cute little flower. Oops, I'm too high. We have a cute little flower. Okay. All right. Now, oh, I wanted to show you something on this, um, these layers. I will show you how to cut, but I want to show you um, how I choose to do my layers usually. Okay, so I'll give you the the um, dimensions later, but um, this piece is three inches by uh, three and three quarter inches, this designer paper that's from Festive Farmhouse. And I always kind of like just a little bit of color. I mean, sometimes my layers are bigger, but I like a little bit of color. And so what I do, so I told you that I have, that I have, um, it's by three and three quarter. So I go the next two tiny little marks. So that's an eighth of an inch. Um, so this, so my Mary Merlot piece is actually three and seven eighths by three and one eighth. So I don't know if you just, if you like just a little bit of a, of a border, um, I always go an eighth of an inch, which is two, two tiny little marks that are on your stamp and trimmer or a ruler or whatever it is that you're working with. Okay, so I'm going to see look at this cute background. I couldn't see it up see it when I had all of them stacked together. Um, so it's cute words. This is Festa Farmhouse and I just want the 
kind of the wood looking thing. There's probably a word for that. I don't know it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put my piece right on my Mary Merlot. And I'm designing this one just a little bit differently. I want to use my bone folder quick. So I'm putting this at the, I'm making this a portrait card rather than a landscape card like the first one was that I showed you. So I just have it together like that. And, oops. So here's my, uh, my flower. And I need to put my mini glue dots on the back of this too. So I'm doing two of them. Remember, I'm using mini glue dots as opposed to just snail so that it will um, hold these layers well. And because I know that I'm planning to put these faceted gems on. So these might be a little bit heavy. So I wanted extra, extra strong adhesive. So I'm grabbing the biggest one that I have and putting that on there. And now I need words. Okay, so I chose words from Painted Harvest. Do you remember this from last year's uh, holiday catalog? We kind of all fell in love with it. Um, if you didn't, then you didn't see the hedgehog card that we made. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't see hedgehog, um, you need to look it up pa on Pinterest or wherever. Painted Harvest, hedgehog, uh, it's adorable. Anyway, so I wanted the words I'm doing, um, I'm thankful for you. And I want to show you, where's this piece? I lost the piece. Oh, there it is. Okay. So do you remember my tip from last week um, on uh, my Facebook page that you, if you want your words to stand out, then you need to choose a dark color. So I'm wanting a dark color on here so that it stands out. So I want to show you differences here in actual stamping. Oops, I got to get this in here. Um... Okay, so right up here, if I have this correctly, yep, right up here, I have the gray granite that I'm using in the cardstock, and that's also in this paper, and it just kind of blends in. Even the basic gray that I have here um, blends in a little bit. I don't want it to blend in. Um, this, just a sec. This one is early espresso. This one would be good, but I chose... Um, the memento because this is a photopolymer stamp and when you I wanted it to be black so memento I think turns kind of gray um, so this is actually a good one to do but then it goes with the black that I stamped on the my plaid flower itself so I'm using that okay so photopolymer you need a memento unless you are cleaning your stamp immediately when you're done because you can damage your stamp. So I'm going to ink this up and whenever I use a fabric pad I always test it out on my scrap paper to make sure that I'm getting um, good color because uh, photopolymer and um, the fabric pads I personally think they don't like each other very well. <laughs> so I need to compensate for that. Okay. So I'm going to put right on here on the card. I'm thankful for you. Oops. <laughs> it's quite a learning curve for me to figure this out. Oh, it, it'll be an amazing day when that happens. Okay, so here's my card. So I have to show you more. <clears throat> so here are two other color combinations with it. So I chose these colors. I wanted to do them all together, um, but three daisies on this card didn't work out very well, so I didn't do that. Um, so these are pumpkin pie and mint macaroon. And um, aren't these colors cool together? I saw it on somebody's blog yesterday, and I'm like, ah, that's the colors I need to use. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, there's that. So here are, I love the idea of the plaid daisies. So here's that, but I also want to show you so this is my first card that I made with the Buffalo check. I think I put that on my blog and everything yesterday. So here's the first one. Um, so I have a hint for you um, on this. This is black foil paper and it's really cool, nice and shiny. And um, I used this with the corrugated embossing folder and it's one of those dynamic ones. So it's thicker and heavier. Um, 
so when I went through when I did this swap it actually worked okay I kind of got little cuts in here and I just used my um, my tear and tape to um, to put it on the back to put it on my card so it kind of helped it stay together um, but then when I went to do it again later I kind of made matchsticks with it <laughs> I'll cut it apart so um, if you have one of the platforms that has the tabs um, you know how you take one tab out of the way for embossing folder well take two tabs out of the way and then you'll still get the um, design the impression the embossing um, but you won't be cutting it so it's helpful and I just realized that while I show you these I can talk to you again so I can bring you back up because I'm done stamping hi Courtney hi Dina uh, oh I know you love the headshot Courtney <laughs> um, Okay, so here's another card. These we actually made um, at my clubs this month. So this is with Trick or Tweet. I said it right. Uh, I've been struggling with that all month um, because, you know, Tweety. <laughs> um, okay, so there's, there's this one. Okay, and then I have to show you a little bit different one. So they're all kind of the same design, but... Um, oh, I gotta make sure there's not light in it. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of trying to go around your comments too, which I know you guys don't see, but I do. Okay, so here, this is Gorgeous Grape and the Buffalo Check and love, love, love this elephant. It's way too cute. Can you see him? Get him right up. Uh, I use Stampin' Blends on here. You have to use Memento for Stampin' Blends also, and you have to let it dry first. I thought about showing that to you on video, and no. Um, <laughs> cause I just stop talking when that happens. Um, and that doesn't work well on video. So we're, I, I skipped it. So anyway, um, so I think that's all of them that I have. So make sure that you, um, that you comment uh, on these or you don't have to comment on these. Yeah. I colored Marsha <laughs> all month long this month and last month. Um, yeah, because last month was the Blended Seasons bundle. That was kind of an amazing bundle. And this month I've been doing Trick or Treat, and it's Halloween. Yes, Kate, I did Halloween for you, and I will do it next month, too. Okay, so I have a funny story to tell you. So, um, last week, uh, after Tyler got home, Tyler's my son, for any of you that are watching, that you don't really know me. Um, he's 23, and he got home late at night after his long day, and friends, and all that, and somehow my Facebook Live came up and, and he's like, why are you doing Facebook Lives? And I said, well, I want to grow my business and I just I just needed to start doing that. And he's like, so, he's just like, hey guys, it's me over here doing laundry. <laughs> doing laundry, there's my stamp and stuff. <laughs> he was cracking me up. So he's been to... All my hostess appreciation parties, except for last year, I think he might have missed it. He sees my house filled with stampers a few times a week, and he thinks I'm doing a Facebook Live with laundry. <laughs> Such a goof. I don't know where he gets it from. Okay, so um, I need more water. Sorry. It's just one of those mornings. Okay, so Buffalo Check is on page... 38 of the holiday catalog and um, I will be using Buffalo Check at my Christmas stamp camp so make sure that you sign up for that you have through October 6 to do that um, make sure that you share my Facebook live um, that that would just be wonderful if you share with your friends and um, let them know about me and um, make sure that you comment too even if you're watching this later um, that's perfect. That's great. Um, Dot always watches it later because she doesn't, she doesn't, isn't available during the day and she comments just like she's right there with me in the room. So, I love it. Um, so anyway, make sure that you comment and I will enter you in, um, a drawing for the card that I just made today. Did everybody, is everybody, that's on now? Did you see it? I love it. So I just made buffalo check daisies. Ah. Okay. 
So I think that's it. Do I have anything else? So happy birthday to all of you celebrating your birthday today. And um, if you comment and were um, asking questions or anything like that while I was doing the video, um, I will make sure to get back to you um, later today. And um, make sure if you didn't see my announcement, um, Stampin' Up! just updated their clearance rack. So there's lots of stuff on there. Um, and yeah, so check it out. But there's already stuff that have fallen off like it's gone. Uh, I had a few things for somebody last night that I was trying to order for them and they were already gone. So um, be quick. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, you're kind of a plaid girl anyway, aren't you? Country, anyway. I don't know if you're plaid so much. Um, but thank you, anyway. Oh, and uh, while I'm on here, I just thought I would let you know that um, one of my um, sales goals that I was going for, I hit it last night with my club. I was so excited. Um, but I didn't I didn't even tell them. I, I, I wasn't sure where I was at, so... <laughs> So yay, I got one of them. I have one more that I'm working on and I'm going to be announcing a BOGO event um, soon. So BOGO will mean you, the retired stuff, um, whatever you buy in retired stuff, you will get um, that much in free new catalog stuff. So I will let you know about that sh soon. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, make sure you comment and make sure you share my um, video too. That would be wonderful. So I hope you have a great day and thanks for stopping by again. I'll talk to you later. Bye.